Hi there, everyone. Uh, this was after the third time shoveling. In uh, one day, we got about 35 centimeters here, plus with the blowing snow, while well, it just accumulated totally high up. It looked like winter wonders land here. But it's, the you know, re not really. This is, is the first snowstorm that I've gotten. Thanks to all new subscribers and, of course, my community. Thanks a lot for all you newcomers that arrived here. I have a 14-inch telescope. Let's not waste any time and go right to the moon. These lines are constructed. No two ways about it. Look at the rectangle over on the right with the forms and shapes going to and from these areas. So someone, something is on the moon, or it's an ancient city, but I tend to think that it's still active because we are seeing lights on the surface. These are extremely amazing shots that my classics, I call them, because you know, seeing a square or an area of construction is not that hard to see on uh, the moon, but you have to bring the exposure down to be able to see the surface properly. That's for sure. Now, recently, and even NASA said, um, uh, yes, NASA did talk about um, the Browns on the moon. Look at the three lines where Apollo 17 said they landed. Look what it's connected to. That rectangle I tell you about where there's a monolithic object right at the end there in the center and two lights billowing. You see smokes and hazes. So there's activity on the moon. Look at the Browns real quick. Just a couple of seconds as we pan across here where there are a lot of browns appearing and yes more than the usual so again that's what i told you a few months back as summer uh, arrives we're going to go see if those browns have changed if they turn green or not three craters we're going to talk about right there you just saw cyrilus crater on the bottom theophilus that's cyrilus on the left on the right that's just an interesting area with flowing water and a bit higher up too that I've showed you recently. We're gonna look at that in great detail. Cyrilus Crater, just beside Theophilus Crater. There's the pipe or tunnel going straight through the crater. Look up where Cyrilus is. There's the flowing water or something that is in movement all along that ridge. It really does look like a waterfall that I showed you not that long ago, right? So let's take a little look at that a bit closer, if we can, um, to see there's Theophilus right beside Cyrilus, and then now there's Cyrilus right there. So Cyrilus overlaps um, um, a tunnel or um, line bridge that leaves Cyrilus. That is serious stuff. When you see structuring like that, the only other thing to lead somebody to think that something's Interesting, interestingly, sorry, worth looking at on the moon, archaeologically wise, is this, UFOs on the surface. For whatever the reason, especially in 219, the activity that was on the moon was extraordinary. Since the pandemic, and of course the neighbors have laughed, I told a few neighbors that the UFOs have slowed down since the pandemic, and again, chuckles chuckles which i don't blame them right this is hidden it's absolutely top secret we're looking at military formations ufos flying by um, more than um, one object two or three objects following each other by the way going outside of the circle thus proving it's not a bug on the screen but that's only for the trolls those of you here looking for truth know exactly um, what i'm showing and these are classics right and this is not that long. This is not even 400 days old. So think of it. There are UFOs on the surface of the moon. Look inside of this dark crater. So they call it craters. The lights are moving. They light up. They move around. Sometimes you could even see explosions on the surface. Well, it's because somebody's definitely working down there, right? If we're seeing explosions or lights and, and flashes, I mean, hey, just theoretically, but I really don't believe that they're all, you know, meteor strikes. So I promise you we'd go back to Theophilus and Cyrilus crater. The bottom one is Theophilus where you see the white center and this is Cyrilus crater. In the green brackets on the right, notice the drip that is dark, like a dark smudge of oil that's uh, leaning over top 
of the ridge going downwards. It's a black spot. These are all details that people don't notice, and we're along the Terminator line, and that's why we're seeing them. Professional 14-inch Celestron, Celestron, high-definition telescope, showing us movement on the surface along a white line that comes down to a fuller white area that goes down to a thinner line. It looks like water. It does look like a waterfall on the moon. And again, right beside Theophilus Crater. What I'm trying to show is what I'm capturing. There's a lot of good UFO channels out there, but they're not showing uh, this exclusive research. And I'm not saying that because I want to be better than anyone else. I want the work to get out. That's all I want. I want the research to get out. I want people to know that there are bloody square UFOs on the surface leaving uh, massive puffs of smoke off the surface as they leave the surface at high speed. Hello, alert, there's someone up on the moon, no one's talking about them. There are lights leaving off projectiles, maybe even a possible war up there on the moon. 2021, I'm going to be talking a lot more in detail about the research. So you just saw a Cyrilus crater with a pipe or tunnel going through it. Here's Theophilus that's just at the end. You have Theophilus, Cyrilus, and you have Katarina. Three craters, Theophilus crater. Look at it. Along the ridge where that line's going through the craters, we can see a UFO or something that even looks like it's on the surface running along Theophilus crater. Again, there's a lot of UFO channels out there, but this one in particular, if you're just arriving, shows original exclusive footage that I've captured myself with a high-definition 14-inch telescope made from Celestron. And really quickly and quite easily destroying what the trolls say that everyone says Bruce is just capturing satellites. I respect all of your opinions, but come on, Charles, give me a break. See this? See the size that I saw the satellite train of Elon Musk. This is a Starlink satellite train. Before it elevates, <laughs> that's right, before it elevates in height. Now let's go see live footage of two different days of capturing this and watching it rise in height. It gets smaller and smaller and smaller. And don't forget, but three to nine seconds that I could see the satellite train as it goes over the Earth's Terminator line and over the horizon. And because of the sun is the reason why we can see these objects. So this is not going over my head at all. It's very far away. Look, it's going away from me, far away, and the other one's going upwards, right? Ah, well, that's the difference. And when people say Bruce is just filming regular lights in the sky, check it out. Do you think Elon Musk's satellite is going to come that close <laughs> to you? Absolutely impossible. This is a light 20 feet over my house, almost stopped right in front of me, and it is clarifying my house. It is brightening my house up like it was daytime outside. Do you understand what I'm getting at? I could have gone in more detail. I will further down the road. But what you're seeing on the right is a UFO close to me over my house. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful object. And on the left are what the satellites look like. So listen, guys, the ones that don't believe me, I respect you for not believing me, but at least hear me out. That that object on the right is the size of the object I see over my house. It's not a bloody satellite. Satellites don't slow down. Slat satellites rise in orbit more and more and more. But Bruce just gets regular lights. For me, each light is a different event and I get different details. Like you're seeing right here, obviously not a satellite, landing on the surface of the moon. We're talking about the real thing with um, a large telescope. For those of you, who, of you who don't know, I paid over, along with my community, over 10,000 US for the telescope. The reason why I talk about that while well, we're looking at these beautiful images of real satellites just being let go from Elon Musk in Florida or is it Texas comes over Canada. They come north, you know, and that's uh, I'm lucky here to be able to capture them. So, yeah, it's a real big telescope, professional telescope, 
and it's all footage that I'm capturing myself. So I'm really trying to get out there to other people to see this research, and it's not a joke. Making $6 a day after bloody five years of research showing um, top secret stuff on the moon, it's proof in itself that we're being blocked. Truth is being blocked. Disclosure's coming soon. Disclosure's coming. 